On the morning of May 23, 2013, the odds of seeing a tornado later in the day wasn't all that bad. But your chances of seeing other amazing sights was a sure bet, for while traveling out here this time of year, there are countless fascinations to stumble upon. At 12.58 p.m., radar detected an invisible outflow boundary left over from the previous day's storms. These features are often good candidates to spark thunderstorm development, and by 1.40, a storm fired up right on target. Fifteen minutes later, a storm spot reported a brief dusty tornado, and the National Weather Service responded by issuing a tornado warning. From my perspective, I couldn't confirm a tornado, but did observe a little dust spin-up. Often along the edge of a storm's gust front, eddies called gustinados whirl up dusty tubes. One should avoid mistaking these features as tornadoes due to the cried wolf effect false warnings have on the public. And even worse, bad karma accumulation, which could ultimately trigger one's spontaneous combustion. The storm appeared to drag its tongue across the Earth's surface as it slurped up Texas topsoil. Several large gustinadoes formed, and coincidentally a spotter reported a tornado, and another warning was issued. Here we have found what's left of the former storm spotter that was calling in the tornadoes. The storm was now vigorously outflow dominant and taking on a classic haboob appearance. Well, other than getting dust in your eyes and your ears and your teeth, and worse, all over the sensors of your digital cameras, we made it through the dust storm unscathed. But another younger, meaner cell would fire up to the southeast and wrap into a fat hook echo. But that was a whole nother story. The hell have I got myself to do today? Oh. This storm chase was sponsored by... Velvet Slipper Radio. Powered by the Radio Agogo Radio Network.